it's great to be back. It's great to be back at London Heathrow and we're flying to Serbia for Red Star Belgrade against Partizan, the derby match. It's second against first, only a five point difference in the table. But what's better than the football itself is the atmosphere, the fans, the culture of the club Red Star Belgrade. I've been a few times, I think I've been sucked into it. People always come up to me and say, why don't you just go to an English football match? And I say, if you went to a game, and you witnessed what I do at these Red Star matches, you simply have to go back. And that's what I'm doing here. We're flying from Austria and then a flight to Belgrade. I can't wait. Look who it is, mate. Yes, mate. How Josh. We're here at London Heathrow, are you excited? Parts of me yes, parts of me no. I mean, I'm an English fan going over to Serbia to watch some Eastern European football, so I'm a bit skeptical about what's going on in the world right now and going to the football game, it's, I don't know what to expect. Is it your first time in Eastern Europe? It is, mate, it is my first time. First Red Star match? First Red Star match. First experience? First experience. Let's go. Seen Josh. I've seen police by the checking desks. It's the world we live in now. It's the first time I've ever seen that. We're off to Belgrade, flight number two to come. I'm so excited. Guess the price of the water in the Austria airport right now in your head. You did not guess for Euro 80. That is mental. Just a little comparison here. Beers are cheaper. The beer's cheaper than the water at the app. Are they just trying to get people this game to mint? Arrived in Belgrade for the Derby. Joshua. Where have you brought me to, mate? We just had a little drive around Belgrade. I think Josh is a little bit surprised by it all. How are you feeling? I, I think I'm a bit scared. There's police officers everywhere you see. Yeah. There's people dressed in like black clothing and all that. All the ultras. ultras. All the ultras. It's a bit scary from what I can make. A bit different. Yeah, we're like four hours before the match kicks off. And everybody's already around the stadium preparing. All the ultras on both sides of fans. It's incredible. You can really feel the tension too. Yeah. So it's a big day for the fans. Big day. Big day. So as you know, we're here in Serbia. And we've got something to try. We're with our very good old Josh. friend. If you want to be a proper <laughs> Serb, you need to try some shit. <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's like a spirit. Welcome to Serbia. Shlibovica, right? It's made out of plum. It's like brandy. Brandy, okay. First review. <laughs> no, not for me, mate. I'm not a proper <laughs> I'm not a proper still, Serbian. Still a lot to go to, yeah, to be a proper Serbian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't not love me, it. Man. I'm not a proper Serbian. We're here with Alex. We've come to a pizza place. Look at this. It's massive. Look how big this is. Look, look at this. Take a look. Well, you have a big match ahead of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the salad. Uh, okay. uh, bro, I'm, I'm on a diet. Look, look at how big I am. <laughs> Mate, he's all talk. Well, I think Patton will drop deep, but if uh, Red Star can maintain a position, uh, like a uh, possession game, then we are through with the quality over them. We've got the new striker. Is it off? Oki, yeah, yeah. He, he was amazing from all day, yeah. and I think that he can be one of the one of the size of factors. But also, I will never undermine Papko simply, oh. which can be a super sucker. Yeah. I just want to show you this. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Oh. I love that. We're gonna win the league. Okay. We're we're gonna win the Europa League. As we turn the road here, we can see the opening of Americana, the Red Star home stadium. It feels good to be back. There's an ambiance around here already. 75 minutes before kickoff, feeling the buzz. Let's get in there. So we're inside the media suite here. The teams are out, as you can see. A few big names. Dragovic, played it by Leverkusen last year. Piccini was at Valencia. Ochi scored about 27 goals in 27 games for Molde last year. This is probably the strongest Serbian league we've ever seen. And they're not even first place. I'll tell you what, I've never been to a football game where you see so much police and riot shields. We've got a few talents here, okay? We've come inside the media press. We've got... Inter fan and Milan. Milan, either side. But today you're back in Red Star Partizan. What are you predicting? I'm back in Partizan, top of the league. I think 3-1 Partizan. Well, hopefully Red Star is gonna win. Yeah, that's what we like. Red Star. <laughs> Score, scores? Yeah, scores. Yeah, yeah. Win Thirty minutes till kickoff. The stadium is nearly 
absolutely packed out. And we've just seen like the ball has nearly hit the partisan players aimed from the Delia, which is the ultra section. That is the uh, the most hardcore fans of Red Star. This is a partisan away section. We've got a split away section over there. For some reason, the partisan away fans are split into two groups. So we're waiting for something else to happen and we'll get the finish. Ten minutes still kick off, Josh. Yes, mate. Uh, I've been a little bit scared of the bangs, mate. There's too many of them. It's too much for my liking. It's his first ever match in the Balkans, in Serbia, and it's the Belgrade Derby. You've started off in a bang, quite literally. Literally a bang, mate. This is crazy. The Delia section behind the goal here in the Maracana getting ready. Ten minutes till kickoff. What do you think of that, Josh? Scary. <laughs> Intimidating the uh, partisan away fans on the opposite side. And it's intimidating me, mate. Music starts when the Red Star players are about to walk out. The mood is starting to get a little bit more jolly because the home team is about to be welcomed. Let's see what goes on. Delia with the display. And we're on the way. I don't know why we're going forward. He's given it straight away. You won't get this in England. No. Not one of those fans is not dancing and moving and getting free in an atmosphere there. It is carnage. 24 matches played with this included. So that's how many games they got left. What? Well, not many. And the point gap is five. Wow. The cloud of smoke is incredible. Jeez. That, that just went over there. This is going to go right into the pitch. Josh, I mean, this is just insane. What's happening here then? It is absolutely mental. There are seats being thrown at the stewards. Directly at the police as well. Look at these seats flying. The seats have gone flying, mate. Look at this. Oh my. How have they got so many? And look at the flat. Oh, this is just insane. This is incredible. The game has to be stopped. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know what's going on. Fireworks. Smoke bombs, the lot, chairs Seems being thrown. How are the police still standing? I've never witnessed this at a match ever. There is such a massive flare of smoke here. The game is going to have to stop. Now the flare's coming from the, from the Delia side, but look at this. Just look at, zoom all the way out. Zoom all the way out. This, we can't even see the away section. We can't see the fans. All you can see is chairs being broken and chucked to the police. You don't experience this in English football, do you? It's you you never get this in English you football. Eastern European football, you see this? Mate, I thought I was going to say. The noise coming from both sections today, it's, it's the most I've ever seen in a derby in Europe. Never mind England, in Europe. And that means the world. This is the craziest football derby I've ever been to. Partizan fans, yet again, putting more seats on fire. Carnage. Josh, lad, that's a bonfire in the away. That's a bonfire. They've had to move people. They've had to literally move people around. Oh they my God. They They're literally fire. set in the away on a fire. Can you imagine being one of those players looking up and seeing the stadium on fire. More seats are being thrown into the, to the bonfire in the away end. The firefighters had to let out the bonfire in the end. Pyros, everything in the home end, and they're one nil up. Absolute scenes. I've seen nothing like this. And now these firecrackers are going off. Absolutely incredible. What's just happened, mate? Hello, you locked him. Oh! No, it should be doing better. So close to 2-0. So close. With it 36 minutes as well. 
Red Star dominated. from half time and here come the flares and the delia the maracana erupts you do not get this in England you do not people ask me why do I leave the Premier League to come watch this football here's why this is an insane atmosphere it is it's a light show outstanding it's bonfire night here in Belgrade it's the most unique atmosphere you'll get anywhere in the world. I'm used to going to Carlisle and all this. I'm not used to be going here. Eastern European football. And the English fan travelling all this way to watch this. It's one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had watching football. The Red Star pies and players, staff, substitutes. It's getting tasty. It's half time here. And it's all getting a bit tasty between the staff. They won't go down the tunnel for some reason. 2 0 to Red Star, they are dominating. But the atmosphere, it is insane. One of the best atmospheres I've ever witnessed. Probably the best derby I've been. Have you, can it compare to Italian football? Nah, no way. I mean, it's way more, way <laughs> crazy, more yeah. crazy, way more hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's man. a serious hatred between the two. Definitely, man. It's something that you can't see both in England or Italy. No, that's true. Sure. No. I don't think anywhere in Europe, honestly. Like, even like 30 minutes before the game, there were like bombs and flares going off as well. But we want to hear it. Full time prediction. Uh, well, I said 3 uh, 0. Yeah, so uh, yeah, stick with it. Right, second half about to begin. Time for a different experience. Let's mix it up. We've got Anastasia from Red Star, we've got your own chance. Link in the description. This Bumble. game's crazy. Yeah, Barcelona Stadium again. I know. And again, and again. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to be back. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the first half? 2 0. 2 0. 2 0, no? Yeah, very good. But maybe at the end, 3 0. 3 0. I think Franco. Yeah, Franco will score. You know who Franco is. Big man. Big yeah. man. Last minute header. Dog dad bullet header. Yeah, maybe Franco. What's the thoughts on the Delia fans? What? What's your thoughts on the fans? No, oh, crazy. Derby is always like this. But we missed our fans because of Corona time yeah, and yeah. everything. And now the full stadium is up there. It's, it's, it's so good to be back. Like, yeah. we've, we've not had an atmosphere in the last three years. You can see on either side it's going crazy. And Red Star. Big question, can you win the league? Yeah, of course. Second half on the way, and the same old is happening again. Smoke bombs, flares, firecrackers, the lot. It's all over this end. They all began second half the same here. Tell you what, different perspective here for the second half. We're right by the pitch. You can really feel the atmosphere from here. I don't think we're really used to police officers attending football matches with guns. Coming off for Pavkov, the big number nine. 80th minute here, Red Star in cruise control. Second half's been a bit 50 50, I must admit. They're just trying to hold up for a 2 0 win, which will happen. But this is the most surreal experience yeah. I've ever watched being a football fan. What's it like down here? Oh, great view, mate. Great, great view. You've got the altars here. Yeah. The fans here. You can't really ask for a better view of the pitch, can you? Josh is getting involved. Love it. Time here at the ground. Red Star get the win. Everyone's loving it. One of the most crazy games I've ever been to. Red Star fans are sensational. Oh my god. This is. I'm not sure how safe I feel right now. This is insane. Oh my god, what are we doing? This is insane, Anastasia. What are we. Incredible. Here are the players. These are literally, I'm with the Red Star players right now. The Red Star players are celebrating with the fans. This is insane. The players are loving it. The 
there's a hero there. This is insane. He's got a flag. What is going on? The players are celebrating. players so connected to the fans. These boys have been outstanding today, dominated on Derby Day. Belgrade is red and white. Sometimes you've got to pinch yourself. We're here with the Dania, the Red Star players. You do not get this in England. One of the best atmospheres I've seen in Europe. Incredible. I'll cherish this for life. A special night in the evening of the capital of Serbia. The Dalia lights up their torches to celebrate for one final time. Dominance from Katai and the main man, Iho Ohi, the striker from Norway. The atmosphere has been special today and well worth the trip all the way from England. We've got two flights this morning to get here today and it was well worth it. Thank you for watching this video. I can't thank you guys enough for giving me the support to go to games like this. I'm a football mad guy and it's experiences like this that I recommend you guys to subscribe for more. Smash the like button if you enjoy it. See you in a bit. Right, full time. The Belgrade derby has been experienced again with Big Josh. Oh my God, what did we just experience, mate? It was mental. Well, it was my first experience of Red Star fans, and it was yeah. absolutely buzzing. I yeah. was very, very scared at first, as we all know. But in the end, oh my God, I just want to go back now. I'm absolutely buzzing. I want yeah. to get back in the stadium now because <laughs> the atmosphere was amazing. Mate, we'll be back. We'll be back. We maybe, need to. Maybe for the Rangers game. But all I can say is, this was the Belgrade derby complete with Josh. Two English fans experiencing the football in Serbia. The fans, the culture, the pyro. We loved it, didn't we? Amazing, Matt. Yeah. I loved it. Subscribe for more. Have a great evening. And the adventures continue. See you in a bit, guys.